Hello beautiful Cancers, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all doing well. Cancer, I've had technical issues today so it, I just find it interesting every time I talk about the karmic situations I'm getting technical problems. Let's see what's going on for Cancer and hopefully there's no karmic energy around. Cancer, what's going on? Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. You're going through star being healing codes. Wounds are healed, recharging. Solar plexus chakra, inner fire, willpower, karmic board clearing. Sweet. Soul star activation, light codes, divine magic manifestations through the vortex the holy grail holy geez divine support is all around you push through it's your turn to be seen your turn to rise your turn to be noticed your turn to have all these blessings come into you you're being recognized or rewarded somehow for Clearing karmic deaths or clearing out a karmic energy. Hmm. It's like the gateways are opened up to you, Seraphim, the most high-ranking angels of the universe are, are protecting you. Amplify your positive emotions. Cancerian energy, what is going on? The Holy Grail. <laughs> yeah, expansion. Shifting your energy. Infinite blessings, hope and happiness and being vulnerable again. Being in service. So a lot of you are called to service. A lot of you are being called and now are answering the call. It's as if you're being rewarded for clearing out some karmic board clearing, wiping the record straight, getting a fresh new start, infinite abundance coming in, blessings. The Seraphim's Gateway, it's like you have direct access to the most high-ranking angels. Some of you may be high-ranking angels. Let's see, Cancer, what's going on? A tower? A shock? Something to do with uh, contracts. Huh. So you may have walked away from a situation or someone is like just acting immaturely. This is the Empress energy. This is the Holy Grail. This is the Emperor. Somebody decided to be a player in the situation, causing some injustice, being very self-centered. You trust your intuition that somebody was juggling you, treating you as an option may have turned their back on you, I don't know, or searching for other options, pushed you away, stuck energy, nightmare energy, what's going on? You may have cut somebody out or somebody has cut you out of a situation, very insecure. See, King of Wands energy. Could have left you out in the cold. But they're going to get a rude awakening spirit saying, because you are getting all the infinite blessings, the infinite abundance here. Mm, yeah. They were a fool. I don't know if they had a child, a karmic child. Oh my God. They're reaping what they've sown. Cancer, I'm going to be for real with you here. 
I'm getting a lot of the same energies for other signs. Like particularly, I'm getting this for Gemini, Libra. I'm getting this for Capricorn and Sagittarian energy. So this person might have been entertaining many options because I'm picking it up in the other reads. So this person... Snuck away. Snuck away on cancer or was sneaking around on cancer. I don't know if this is... So I am getting that Sagittarian energy. I am getting cancer energy. I am getting that they were dealing. That's why I'm getting that. I am picking up Gemini energy uh, of feminines that they were dealing with. So this particular masculine could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. They could have been dealing with a Gemini. They could have been dealing with a Cancer at the same time. I just know that they were out getting attention while they were at work thinking they're this big person on the block, all stuck up in their ego. <laughs> oh my God. Friends with benefits. So they didn't want whoever these other energies are to see each other. Judgment. Uh-huh. They like being chased, so everyone chased them in the past, so they're going, why wouldn't my person chase me? The reason why these people are not chasing them, anyone of worthiness in the first place, is because these are Empress energy, minor arcana or major arcana energies, who they were playing around with. You know, that's why they settled for a karmic energy. They had true love, okay? Their true love was their soulmate. But they seen this like they chose a path of burdens. They were betraying many. I don't know what this is to make people jealous. Look what I have. Look what I have. I have a new opportunity. That's the truth spirit saying they had someone divine. They could have married the karmic. Other lovers, I'm telling you, they got trapped by a karmic love. A false twin. Someone who put many in competition there is several people here that this person was entertaining and let's get to the honest truth of the matter this person was pretending that they were committed to everyone they may have had one main person who was their true love but this person was entertaining several people they were many so who do they end up with? The karmic. Secretly communicating, manipulating. Chasing sex, you know. They were in a commitment. This is third party crap going on. Giving to more than two, I'm telling you. They had an earth angel who they cut out because of their own greed. So, obviously, they're the karmic. At least they're in karmic energy. They're supposed to be an emperor, okay? But they're entertaining many. There's that Sagi energy. They could have been entertaining any Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have been entertaining... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they could have been entertaining several people. But the main people that this person was dealing with was probably Cancer. That's 
Wyatt Senior Reed. Sorry about that blockage. I don't know why this. Every time I'm talking about the karmics, I'm getting these problems. Like I said, this is too fluky, too weird. So if we get cut off, it's because they don't want people to know what's going on. So I'm telling you right now that this person was acting cold and distant toward their true soulmate. They're karmic in nature. They're supposed to be an emperor, but they're in karmic energy, entertaining many. So I'm surprised all the zodiac signs, they are all out here. So this person could be a fire energy, an Aries, an, a Leo, or a Sag energy. But they also could have placements of air, placements of air signs. Or, or this person is like a chameleon. They are. So I need some confessions. Whoever these karmic energies are, they miss the boat. I know some of you could be waiting for past people to return, but in the meantime, it's like, look at all these star seed energies. Look at all this growth, this learning patience and balance. It's all for a higher reason. Yeah, this person's even draining the karmic's energy. The karmic is saying, I'm dealing with this bullshit in your place. I have low standards and no self-respect. He's just using me. I spy on you to find out if he's still holding on to you. Uh, even the karmic knows that you exist in their life. I'm just saying, like the karmic knew about you, if there is a karmic energy involved in your situation, which for many of you it is. We have, uh, this is definitely not going to resonate for every cancer. It's very specific. But for this particular cancerian, it is a cancerian feminine or a cancerian masculine who is dealing with a karmic energy, a low vibing fool around. This very specific. I don't know why this story is coming out, but it's for a higher reason. And I wouldn't be surprised if this video cuts off again. This is a masculine energy who has several placements in their chart. This is not your typical Cancerian masculine. This is an emperor who's showing up in a Cancerian read because this emperor has been dealing with a Cancer as well as many feminine energies. It's definitely not going to be your normal uh, Cancerian spread today. It's being exposed about this masculine emperor who is entertaining all these other feminine energies. And Cancer happens to be one of them. It's not going to be everybody's stories. Let's ask for other messages for other Cancerian people. Because it's very specific that that story wanted to be revealed. So please tell me, for other Cancers who are not involved with a karmic love situation, what are their messages, please? For other Cancers who are not involved with other lovers, that King of Wands keeps wanting to show up, guys.
I've already heard. It's at all possible. What is coming in? Well, we'll take all this. Infinite blessings. Closure. Cycles. Standing strong. Standing firm. Friendships. Confidence. Self-assuredness. Commitments. Love. Damn, Cancers. You've got people around you that I really want to give you a good message here, but Spirit is saying you've got people around you that are jealous and angry about your connections. Could be a friend group. Because they're you may have to cut some people out of your life. Could be a friend group, could be people that are just criticizing you, analyzing you because you are successful. That's the truth. Stand in your truth. Stand in your true authentic self and don't be afraid to cut people, certain people out of your life. Somebody just might be defensive and stuck in their past. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Infinite blessings are nice. We'll take those, Cancer. So this is genuinity. This is sincerity. This is a solid relationship, a solid offer, or things might have been slow moving, but man, it's getting to the finish line in style here. Hmm. But again, you might have to cut people friends or other people out of the situation. This, this is enough info to make my head spin. Because there's so many of you here, I'm getting so many different messages, I definitely am picking up on your energy. I see a lot of judgment. I see a lot of critical, um, judgmental criticism going on. People criticizing you. People like judging you, judging your connections. Judge, judge, criticize, criticize. Damn, ignore these people, Spirit, saying they're stressing you out. Judgment, I'm telling you. So you're going to have to trust your instincts and your intuition on this one. Because there are people who are competing or fighting or arguing or creating roadblocks in your ascension. Know your worth, your value. Mm. That's why, because you're about to receive some good karma. And people are trying to confuse you. Mm. Because you're happy. You're well respected and you have a, a solid foundation. And you're celebrating something to do with something you've been looking forward to for a long time. Now, 
you may have whoa making a decision here oh. okay i'm getting repeating stories so i'm gonna have to cut it short so whatever is going on behind the scenes it's to do with your relationship and per people trying to tear it down or it is to do with your stability and people trying to shake your foundation and it's you're going to have to be real steadfast here um cancer realize your worth your value this is about respect and honor and doing what you know to do that's what's bringing you in these blessings and this abundance and you've got a bunch of people working behind the scenes whether that be friends lovers co-workers other people interfering trying to like cause you some sort of instability or or get you off balance somehow you're gonna have to stay very very calm at this time and be confident in yourself at this time you're not going crazy okay you're not you're about to be blessed royally it is because of the gifts that are coming in toward you that is causing all this friction and instability it's got to stop you're not going crazy sometimes you might be feeling unsure of yourself sometimes you might be feeling like what the heck is going on with me am i imagining things am i crazy no you're not spirit saying you're about to receive a bunch of yeah it is to shift your energy concentrate and focus on your happiness positive outlook because there are energies around that are trying to cause you some kind of friction or instability you might be hearing a lot of criticism people criticizing your work or criticizing you it's coming from an unstable place and misery likes company right keep that in mind shift your energy focus in on your hope your blessings your happiness because somebody is just like trying to wear you down somehow really important at this time cancers to remain balanced grounded and focused because you're about to be blessed with infinite blessings and a lot of good things happening in your life and all this negative influence i don't care if they're friends family children partnerships stay focused Some of you could be in service like helping others or helping the universe bring messages forward you're gonna have to really really stay focused because negative energies always try to attack the light and that's what's happening so just realize it's negative energies it's not you it's not nothing to do with you it is to do with other people and their own insecurities their own crap just saying it's really important because it keeps coming out it's like spirits telling you something to do with your voice something to do with your own voice 
Listen to your angelic voice. Voices that are communicating with you. Because you are communicating with angels. Some of you are angelic. Some of you are communicators with have the ability to communicate with maybe that's part of your service you know what i mean i don't know i'm just saying don't let people rock your uh, balance at this time it's really important to stay grounded and focus you're not going crazy you're not unstable don't let people bring you that energy that's what's here we had several messages today really important to stay balanced and focused on your goals and what you want to achieve because there is some kind of confusion here or somebody trying to make you feel like this isn't your energy. It's not your energy. So don't let people rock your boat. That's what spirit is saying. Don't let people rock your confidence or your foundation. Just keep on keeping on really important to stay close to your angels at this time it would really do you some good if you were able to cleanse your energies at this time to sage and protect your home and your family and your stability and speak those words to the universe of protection of divine protection and comfort and stability calm stay calm <laughs> and um, clearing your energies daily is going to help you immensely Take care, beautiful cancers.